Hey guys, what is going on? This is going to be your map guide for shipment in Modern Warfare 2. Now, this isn't going to be a super long video, but we did receive a comment the other day which did want me to take a look at shipment and talk a little bit more about the gameplay style when you are trying to go on those longer streaks. So again, thank you very much for that comment. I do appreciate it. And we're going to try and talk to that a little bit, just sort of gameplay loops on this particular map because it can be a little bit tricky and a little bit sort of fast paced, a lot going on all the time on this map. So just keep that in mind. We're going to talk about it here today. But as we usually do, we start off with the flags, which of course is the A, B, and C flags. But again, shippers are very big, so this is nice and quick. You can see the A flag is over on this cardboard box side of the map. This is a nice little sort of outrigging oil rig kind of thing, which is really, really sweet in this iteration of shipment. Moving towards the middle of the map, the B flag next to the container where a lot of people love to sit. Again, we're going to talk about some ways to get people out of this area in just a second. Moving all the way around here next to the banana boxes here, if we continue on our way, we do find the C flag over here. A lot of times you will spawn in areas like this, like over here, in that way, and then sort of in this corner here as well. But again, flags are pretty Security. uncomplicated on this map because it is very, very small. So the thing that Brian just wanted us to talk about is essentially the gameplay loops when we are trying to go on those longer streaks in the middle of the map. Now it can be a little bit tricky because of how fast paced this is and consistently you are bombarded from gunfire on pretty much all sides. So we're going to talk about it in though we did just spawn on this side of the map and we can sort of play towards the A flag. So this is usually something how I would do with it. Normally you are going to get into certain situations that occur pretty much all the time on this map. So if you do move and spawn here and you move towards the middle of the map like most people do, you you will eventually like, encounter somebody running across that way there. You'll get into a gunfight here or somebody who is coming towards the B flag here. So you've got to be prepared to take a gunfight here and then a gunfight there. Now, what you have to do after that is decide where you're going to be with your next move, whether that's down that corridor, that corridor there, or that corridor there, and even turning around and taking a look at somebody who might be behind you because after you get that kill on somebody who's there and there, there could be somebody on the respawn just behind you here. So you've got to keep that in mind. Mostly when I do play in the middle of this map here, you can sort of get a couple of kills. I love to not sort of stay in the same place for too long, especially since people do get mad when you do get them killed in these positions like this. You sit here, you sort of duck in and out of all this cover here and wait for people to come to you. But again, you've got to be in and out of these spots pretty much all the time. You've got to get one or two kills and then move quickly because people get very upset and they'll come to you like almost immediately looking for revenge, especially if you're in this shipping container here. So that is probably my number one piece of advice when playing in the center of this map. If you're trying to go on those longer streaks, you've got to be constantly having your head on a swivel, like shifting your position and making sure you're not sitting in the same spot too often, but also recognizing that there are very powerful positions on this map that you do have to make use of when you can. Get in and out of these head glitches here, take out a guy there, take out a guy there, maybe move up. Probably going to be somebody who has just spawned next to this door. Going to get a kill there. Maybe get a kill on that door there. Sort of get a kill there. Maybe slide in here for a quick reload. Take a second just to take a bit of time out. You're going to get a kill on somebody who goes there. Maybe somebody's made it around here. Then you're sort of stuck in this area again. And as we did speak about, you do not want to get caught in these areas for too long. So you might come around this side and take somebody out from this door. And you might loop around to the boxes. And again, you can sort of rinse and repeat with this kind of strategies. You just sort of have to be consistently moving and sort of staying in cover however again as we did mention a lot of the cover on this map is sort of well known and there's not too much of it so if you do find yourself in these cover areas again you do have to be in and out of these spots as much as possible because once people realize that you're in a certain spot they can just pre-fire you very easily like if you do love sitting on these barrels here you're just gonna get your head knocked off very very quickly if you sit here for too long so get one or two kills and then move to the next spot move to there get a kill on that guy there move up get a kill there maybe get a kill on that guy there maybe move up to here kill somebody there and so on so you just got to keep playing in these little circles around the map just trying to get as many kills as possible trying to take a second here and there this is not camping sitting in these shipping containers to wait for a reload or anything like that so don't worry no one's going to call you a camper if you're just chilling getting a reload and then you move out of the spot and then you move up again do a little slide get a kill get a kill there perhaps you got to care the longer line the, the longer lines of sight on this map this map's only like 35 meters across so it's not really long lines of sight but you know what i mean then move in Maybe you have to have another kill there, get a reload off, and then continue on this way. And you sort of circle around the map like that, just doing little loops of all the cover spots, because most of the time people will come towards you, they'll be sprinting around everywhere, just trying to get lots and lots of kills, and that's sort of usually how I do play it there. As we usually do on the map guide series, we're going to take a look at some drill charge spots again. There's a lot of spots in this map where a lot of people do love to camp, again, particularly that sort of shipping container there. And because it is a shipping container and there is a drill charge in this game, if you do chuck it on that spot there... All the way around. 
and C does blow up in here and you'll very often get a nice easy kill on people there. The same does apply over in this corner here. Again, the back of this shipping container is just an open box, you can see. Works the other way too, if you're considering that, it works the other way too. So if you do find yourself in here and you do have a drill charge and you think somebody does spawn on the A flag, chuck it through this wall here and you might end up getting a kill. But again, don't stay in here too long because people will drill charge you when you are in here. Again, you can chuck them at the sides of these containers as well and you will likely get a kill on people who are hiding in the boxes. You can chuck them on the sort of barrels and stuff here, the front of these barrels, because as I said, people love to sit here. They usually sit here for too long. You get a stick on the barrel here and you'll probably get a kill on it on the other side. Again, another shipping container. You can chuck them through that door there or stick it to that doorway there and you might get a kill on somebody who is coming this way. Again, another doorway there, both sides of the shipping container. If somebody is sort of sitting and camping in this spot here and you don't really feel like walking into them sort of laying down in this area here, chuck a drill charge. Sort of there-ish, that area there, and you eventually you will be able to get a kill on them because they're just going to be laying down there in that spot there. Chuck a drill charge at them and you'll get an easy kill. Again, the other side, the other empty shipping container that you can sit in, as you can see, it's not too much to work with here, and you can't throw one at this side because this doesn't actually allow you to get through it. I'm pretty sure. We'll just double-check that before we... Uh, we'll just double-check that. I'm pretty confident you can't get it all done. Never mind, you can. I'm dumb. So you can do that. Never mind. Ignore me. Basically what I said there before. You can chug it through that side just in case you are trying to get somebody who is in here. But another way, if you don't feel like sort of exposing yourself from this angle here, of course, you can chug it through this wall here and you will get a very, very easy kill. A lot of people really love to sit in this particular shipping container. The red one just here. Lots of people in here. So chuck it at that wall there and you get a nice, easy kill on them. And of course, because it is just a hollow wall there, you can go on the other side. You can sort of throw it on this wall here. Don't chuck it in the box there. It might work, but it's just a little bit less. You just sort of chuck it at the top there, and anybody sitting in this area here will get killed by the drill charge. Same sort of does apply to a lot of this cover here. You can chuck them through that, and they'll explode on the other side. Again, that door there, you can stick it to that, and it'll blow up on the other side as well. Taking a look here, more boxes and stuff. Again, all the other way back there, that doorway there as well. You can stick it to that sort of stuff and that wall there and you'll get lots and lots of drill charge kills on this map. So in terms of like sort of premium lines of sight on this map, you probably already know them mostly just because this map's not super big and there's about four lines of sight that you have to take care of for the most part. Of course it is this one here. If you do sort of approach this from this way, it's a pretty good idea to just sort of pre-fire that spot there anyway because people love to sit there, man. They just go bang, pre-fire on them. And you'll probably get a kill. It's pretty likely for that to end up happening. Again, a lot of people moving through that area there, so you have to care the barrels back there. But again, if you are in this spot as well, again, it's a very, very well-known spot. So again, people are going to try and take you out if you do sit here. So don't sit here for too long. Move out of this area. Move on to the next line of sight, which is, of course, going to be something like these barrels. And you want to be looking in that area there and that area there for a head glitch. And then that one there as well. And of course, people coming from out of the red sort of shipping container around that side there. In the middle, you do have to care from pretty much everywhere, basically that side there, that side there, that side there, that side there, and of course coming around on the flank behind you. Sometimes you can take a little peek at the minimap and just know where your teammates are. They might have your back, but you do have to be aware that most of the teammates in this game are very bad. So if you are relying on them, don't do that too much. Moving up here again, you can see that we do take a little look here and you can move in this spot as well, get in this area here. But again, like I said, move out of these areas as quickly as possible. Perhaps move up on these barrels, take a kill on somebody who is there and again, control this area of the map. And you wanna get back into your little loops as quickly as possible, doing little circles of the powerful areas of the map. Bring you across here, big line of sight that people don't don't typically pay attention to is this one across here. People will spawn in the red sort of shipping container on that side and they'll just sort of idly sort of camp in, sit in this area here. So if you're sort of moving around this area, waiting for people to come there, waiting for people behind you, maybe in the middle of the map, you gotta be aware that people can sort of sit in this area and you'll get a lot of easy kills of people just looking across from there, sort of that way towards the sea flag and you'll get lots of easy kills here. You've gotta be aware that people do sit in this area and the area that we did mention previously sitting back here is a little bit lame. So you do have to be aware on somebody who might just be having like a lay down or a sleep here. Because if you just idly run out of this area, just go like this, you're gonna get taken out by it. So just care that, just sort of be aware of when people are sitting there, they don't typically move. So just kill them out of that spot, they won't typically go back there, so keep that in mind. Again, the return line of sight towards the sea flag, this is the one we did talk about previously. A lot of people do sit and look sort of this way and they idly sort of sit in this area here and you can get taken out from that side of the A flag. So keep that in mind as well. A lot of people can sort of jump up on those boxes, but again, you're really looking sort of this area here. The left-hand side of the sea flag from here isn't super dangerous. You really have to just sort of be careful there and there. And if somebody does come around the shipping container, you get an easy kill on there as well. A lot of people sit in this box here. A lot of people sit here, so you gotta be aware of this. Nice little head glitch that you can sort of 
Do a little bit of bobbing and weaving in this area. So you've got to be aware of this spot. And again, similar to the other side, you can move up in this area here and take the cross line of sight as well. People sort of spawn near the bananas and that shipping tent down there. And they'll sort of sit in this area as well. So this cross angle here, this crossfire, and the other one that we did mention, very, very powerful angles just to try and get a lot of extra kills on people who are just sort of idly running across the map. It's important to know that you can sort of jump up in these areas here. It's not super usable most of the time, but if you are in an individual gunfight and somebody is a, like appearing to run, so, say you're in this spot here and they see you and they're shooting at you and they come this side, instead of just peeking out on the other side of this wall to sort of take it out, you can sort of get a little bit of a different angle on there. It's not super usable most of the time because people can just sort of jump up in that area there and get an easy kill on you. But if you're in a 1v1 and there's nobody else, you've got no other options, jump up on the box and take an easy kill on them there. Similar spot as well, you can sit in this corner here. Again, don't do this too much because people will hate you for sitting in here. But again, you can take advantage of this if you do feel that is necessary to sort of get a quick reload off. Realistically, guys, as I said, this is shipment. It's really small. There's not a lot of super complicated spots on this map. Again, we did mention the drill charge through there, through there. But as I said, this is a pretty uncomplicated map, but you do have to have your head on a swivel most of the time because it's a very fast paced, very good action. A lot of camo challenges being done on this map. Don't take it super seriously like I do, but again, Hopefully you did get some enjoyment out of this. And again, hopefully we did answer some of your questions in this particular video as well. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. And hopefully that means I will see you in the next one. Bye.